I have been testing them physics using uh, simulation and some experiment. And the good thing that I was also a unit student. So I'm in a better situation to ask you that question as a unit student and as their teacher. Uh, you got your PhD from MIT. You taught at uh, Columbia University and you've been teaching here at Newman College for many years. Now you're chair of physics uh, department. Is simulation uh, better than uh, hands-on experiment? I mean, ideally what you do is you do both. You, uh, you do the hands-on experiment and also the simulation and see the, the results of you. And that would give you both confidence in, in the experiment, but also confidence that the simulation is going to work properly. I guess what, uh, what I would say is that uh, I think when you're, when you're starting out, some hands-on experience is good. I think especially with something like electricity, that, this isn't so familiar to people in everyday life. But everybody has the experience of throwing a ball or pushing on something and watching it. But in, in everyday life, people don't have so much experience with electricity. So I think giving them some traditional hands on experience is good. But then once they develop some confidence and develop some understanding, then simulations can actually be very easier to understand. Because real life experiments are, are often complicated, don't quite work the way you expect, and it's, it's hard to do an experiment perfectly. So once you have a little bit of experience and background, then a simulation can be a very effective way to learn. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Trevor, for your time. Middle of the two, uh, uh, middle of the two wire. In the middle of the two wires, we call the space the junction. Uh -huh. Sunlight takes eight minutes just to reach your eyes. Inside, it's all atoms making up our minds. But if you think that learning science isn't meant for you, or just not cool, there are formulas to prove it now. Better study up, I'll show you how. We're about to throw some science down. Evolution of your brain, heart, spinal cord, and also your eyes. Medicine made the vaccines, technologies that keep you alive. Every time that you eat, read, text, or take a selfie and smile No signs ain't out of style Science ever goes out of style You love those iPhone apps